Hello, Typing Piper here. Still pondering Gribbly's latest video. Um, and I'm surprised at how far in odds we are when it comes to um, <laughs> what is fascism. So I am smoking some Nolan's Blend in this uh, old ass corn cob bulldog. So, Gribbly stated that uh, apparently we are at it. We're in a fascist state. And it's not the group that I thought he would be referring to. Um, he was referring to federal agents picking people up off the street in unmarked vehicles. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are comparing that to uh, Creedy in uh, V for Vendetta, black bagging people, and they disappear. And that's really not the case. So, yes, there is video footage of men in camo who are exiting an unmarked minivan, grabbing a person on the street, taking them into custody, and then driving off. Which, overall, yeah, it sounds disturbing, I guess. But what are the alternatives here, and what is really going on? Well, the alternative is they meet the people uh, during the riots, and they use um, less lethal munitions, and people get hurt. And then the media bitches about what's being done. You take a less lethal approach by uh, observing, keeping track of who it is that you want to talk to and get their name and information for a possible prosecution later, and uh, then release them. There is that, which uh, is what's happening. There was one person who stated that they got picked up we're taken back to the federal courthouse, were uh, questioned, they got their uh, information, they were uh, in custody for 90 minutes, and they were let go. Doesn't exactly sound like a uh, Chinese concentration camp situation. If you want to know what real fasc fascism looks like, check this out. So the federal courthouse in Portland has been under siege for, I believe we're at 53 days now. Non-stop rioting, multiple attempts of trying to burn it down. Uh, one U.S. Marshal was hit in the head with a hammer by a rioter who uh, had gotten the door open. And when they went to secure the door, bam, hit in the head, sent to the hospital. Who knows the extent of his injuries? But I guess that's okay, because they're peaceful protesters. So the mayor and governor uh, of Portland, Oregon, want the feds to basically abandon um, what is federal property and just let the rioters burn it down. Sounds like a great use of taxpayer money. Meanwhile, uh, a woman named Lilith Sinclair... Well, I don't know if she's a woman or not. I'm probably going to be using the wrong pronoun from now on because she is uh, Afro-Indigenous, non-binary, yet I forget all the other weird subcategories she tried to give herself, stated that not only were they trying to um, uproot and overthrow our justice, uh, police brutality, system, but also overthrow the federal government and uh, our current system. I don't know. Almost sounds like the Confederates. Except there's one big difference between uh, Black Lives Matter and the Confederates. For one, the Confederates had states. 
And they banded those states together and said, we're leaving the Union. We're going to become our own country. And then all hell broke loose. Now, Black Lives Matter, who, by the way, uh, this year alone has raised over $1.6 billion for their cause. Um... They don't own anything. They complain and they bitch and they scream and they cry. And, you know, they try to create these autonomous zones because, again, um, they don't contribute. They don't own anything. Um, they just try to get their way like toddlers. And um, they don't even have a standing army. They're like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like when they run out of food, they're crying on uh, Twitter about getting, like, soy milk and uh, tofu burgers and all that kind of shit. So, no, we're not in a fascist state. Um, a fascist state is where the people that you see getting grabbed on the street go into the minivan and they are never seen again. Because they're put into a uh, train car and shipped off to some camp somewhere and disposed of. That is what we've seen from fascist states. And uh, guess what? It is not Donald Trump and uh, the Republicans who want to do stuff like that. If you haven't been listening, it's the left. So there's this movement to basically get white people out of positions of power and their property. And uh, stop having a work ethic and... Um, you know, you should get divorced more often or not even get married because the nuclear family is just white. Yeah, that's in this document right here. So they've openly stated it. They, they don't like America. For some reason, people seem to think that this is like the shittiest country ever. Which, uh, hey, if you're looking for that post-slave utopia, try Liberia. It was an actual African country created by former slaves who tried to copy American democracy. And go check it out. Meanwhile, I will uh, sit back and just watch the media flip its lid because um, Trump does nothing, they complain. The feds figure out something they can do, the media complains. Trump says, hey, we're not going to give up the courthouse. Um, the mayor and the governor complain. They give up the courthouse, <laughs> the mayor and the governor complain. It's, you can't make these people happy. And why should we even try at this point? So that's about it. Um, I'm expecting to hear that Joe Biden picked Hillary Clinton as his running mate tonight. Because they're both going to be on a show together. For no reason. Other than what I think is going to happen. You want a fascist state with uh, more division in this country? Yeah. <laughs> Hope that Biden gets in. You want a little bit of, like, what was going on the last three years to continue? Yeah. It's, uh, why does this shit always happen during election years? And why is it always from the left? I don't get that. So anyways. That's about all I have to say. Uh, you want to... If they should be protesting anybody, why don't we just send these people to Hong Kong and they can see what real protests look like. You know, where they're waving the American flag around because they like democracy and they want to have something like we have here. And then you have concentration camps where this uh, Muslim minority group is systematically being eradicated and their organs are stolen and literally their organs are being stolen. Their hair is getting cut off. They're finding uh, shipping containers filled with human hair to be turned into wigs. Not kidding, that happened in L.A. So, yeah. Somebody dressed up like a um, 
stormtrooper getting picked up by two guys in camo doesn't really bother me. Should just be glad that, you know, they were released 90 minutes later. How many people get picked up on a Friday night and have to wait until Monday in a jail cell to go before a judge so that they can go home? And these people, bitch. So on that note, keep on typing.